Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how on your Windows 10 computer you can change the default app for any file extension that you may have on that computer. So I was going to show you how to change it for any of them so that you could have your .msg files open with Outlook or Outlook New or the mail one that's built into Windows 10. So I'm going to show you all the different file extensions that are available and then how you can change them. So let's go over to the Windows 10 computer now and I'll show you all those different ways. Okay, so as you can see, I have my Windows 10 computer pulled up and it's booted up to the desktop. So the way that you can change the default apps and which app would use certain file extensions is by going ahead and on your Windows 10 computer, click on the start button down here at the bottom left. And then you want to click on settings right here. It's the gear. So go ahead and click on that. And then your settings window will open up. Now here you want to click on apps. And once you click on apps, on the left side you'll see default apps. Go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to make this full screen for you so you can see it easier. Now, by default, it gives you certain categories like email, maps, music player, photo viewer, video player, and web browser. So by default, you can select just one program and it'll make that the default program for all the different file extensions that would be associated with the web browser. And so as you can see, my web browser is currently set to Firefox. But if you wanted to change it, all you have to do is click on it. It'll give you a list that you can choose from. Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Firefox. Or you can even look for another one in the Microsoft Store. Well, I'm going to go ahead and click Microsoft Edge just so you can see that it will change. And then... Anytime you were to open a link in your email, it would automatically go to Microsoft Edge. And then you can click on Photo Viewer right here, and you can choose any of these that you want to automatically open the photos, like Paint, Paint 3D, Photos, Snip, and Sketch, or you can look for another app in the Microsoft Store. I'm going to go ahead and just choose Photos, and that way all of the photos will now open up in the Photos app, and then you would be able to see those and modify them, maybe even make a few changes in Photos. But most of the time, you'd want something that's a little bit more powerful than Photos. It basically just lets you look at the Photos. And then here you can see my video player is currently set to Movies and TV. But again, you can click on that, and you can choose something else like Media Player, Windows Media Player, photos, movies, and TV, and it says you can look for another app in the Microsoft Store, but you can also go and download apps that you want to use. So, for instance, if you wanted to have your video player be VLC, you could go and download VLC, install it, and then it would show up in the list right here, and you could make that be your default. So, this is a way that you can easily and quickly change it for all the different categories, such as email maps, music player, photo viewer, video player, and web browser. But there's also another way you can do it. So if you have a specific file extension and you need it to open with a specific program, you can click right down here where it says, choose default apps by file type. And if you click on that, okay, so here you can see every single file extension that's currently installed on the computer and it knows about is listed right here. Now, I also have a list of the most common ones and I'll include a link for it in the video description down below, but this is every single one you could think of. So you could literally start scrolling way down here and get down to one that's called PDF and I'll scroll back up to it right here and it's going to open with firefox but you can click on that and you can have it open with google chrome or also microsoft edge and if you install adobe reader or adobe acrobat you could have those pdfs open with it as well but these are every single file extension that's currently on your computer 
And you can go and you can change any file extension to open with a specific program. So as you keep scrolling down, you'll notice there's a few more. PNG, that's a photo, so you would probably want it to open with photos. But you may also want it to open with paint. If that's the case, you can just click on it one time, change it over to paint, and now all of your PNG files will open with paint. Another one that I worked on the other day, and I was having this problem, is if you scroll back up to the M's, there's one called MSG. That is just a message inside of Outlook. Now, you can either have it be the Outlook New or the Outlook Classic. Currently, I only have the Outlook New installed on this computer, but you could go and install the Outlook Classic and it would open up with it as well. But that would fix it for any of those different file extensions you need to have open with a specific program. You can go and you can easily change it to be able to do that. Again, MPEG, .mpg, or .mpeg, you can have that open with a certain program. You could choose media player instead of movies and TV. And now it's going to open with a media player. MPA, you can make that be movies and TV instead of the media player just by clicking on it. And then you can change it over to the Windows media player. And then you keep going, MP4, and it's currently set to be the movies and TV. But if I click on it, you can change that over to media player. And there you go. Now the MP4 files will open with Media Player. So this is going to be great and help you out to get all those different file extensions to open with the program you want it to open with. Now, I know there's lots and lots and lots of file extensions. So you may need some help knowing what program to have those file extensions open with. Or you may want to know what options there are available. Well, you can go onto the internet and just do a quick search for .mp3. So if you go down here to Firefox and you open it up, right up here in the search bar, you can just type in what opens a mp3 file. And you can do that for any extension. And it's going to give you a list of different programs that would be able to open up an MP3 file or an M4V file. You can put any extension that you can think of and it'll tell you what programs most likely would open it. So here, according to Google, Windows Media Player, QuickTime, and VLC Player. But there's others as well that you can use to play it if you would like. Just scroll through the list and you can find them. And if there's a specific one that you would like for me to help you with, so you don't know what would open up a DOCX file. Now, most of you probably would know, but if you don't happen to know, just go and search for it. And most of the time, Google will give you the correct answer. But if they give you ones that you're not familiar with, just let me know and I'll help you. Because as you can see, a DOCX file is going to open with Microsoft Word or Google Docs. And there's also other applications that can open it. But most of the time, it's going to be Microsoft Word or Google Docs that would open it. But you just tell me which file type you're having trouble with, and I'll be more than happy to help you find it. But this would get you started on how you can go back down to your settings, and you can go into the apps, to the default apps, and you can change all the default apps for certain categories. And then you can also get more granular, and you can change it just for one specific file type. Now, I did have a list of all the common file types that are currently out there. And here is that list. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to include a link for this so you can download it if you'd like to. This is what most of them are and what program it would most likely open with. See, a .bat file is a PC batch file that would open with your command prompt most of the time inside of Windows. And then if you go down just a little bit, a DOT file, well, that is a Microsoft Word template that was before Word 2007. After 2007, so starting with 2010, a DOTX 
became the Microsoft Word template. And then if you'll notice up here, a DOC file is a Microsoft Word document that was before Word 2007, because in 2010, they started using the DOCX to be the Microsoft Word documents. And if you happen to include a macro in your Word document, sometimes it would name it DOCM for Microsoft Word Macro Enabled Document. So you can keep scrolling through this list and you'll see a bunch of them. MP4 is an MPEG-4 video. MP3 is an MPEG Layer 3 audio file. So you can see what all the different file extensions are and what the name of those file extensions are and sometimes even what it would open with. Like a PSD file is an Adobe Photoshop file. You would have to have Adobe Photoshop to open it. But if you run across any file extensions that you know what the extension is, but you don't know what program will open it, let me know or let us know down in the comments. And I'm sure either myself or somebody else will be more than happy to help you with it. So I hope that was helpful on how you can change the default app for certain categories on your computer, or you can even change the default app for a specific file extension on your computer. If you do have any questions about how to do this on Windows 10 or even another operating system, please let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video, topic, article, anything that you would like me to create a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this helpful and you want to support this channel, I included a link in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I change my default app and change the app that'll open a specific file extension. And I'll be more than happy to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.